Good news, everybody. I just got back from a hard day at accent camp, and my instructor says my Australian accent is currently spot on. <laughs> he says the problem is when I overthink it, so I should just make like a kangaroo and jump in with both feet, and that's what I'm doing. He also gave me a little mantra in case I get off track that I can repeat to myself, that's not a knife, that's not a knife, that's not a knife, that's not a knife, and there you go. Now that we've established I can do the whole corrections in his Australian accent, I'm going to let it drop, but only because we can all agree I've got it. <laughs> Jigsaw is the name of the character, not the puppet. The puppet doesn't have a canon name, but his nickname Billy. And that's a fun fact to leave off your dating profile. I thought that was bad, but then another jackal topped it. They wrote basically the same sentiment. Only difference, all caps. <laughs> Harry Potter came out in 1991, and the first New Balance factory in Great Britain opened in 1982, so Harry Potter could technically wear New Balance shoes. Uh, someone said, but kids don't wear New Balance shoes. Uh, those are for old men. But now that's Hoka's. So New Balance is cool again. Uh, speaking uh, of kids, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball today because uh, I had to go in this morning. I ca got called into uh, my five-year-old. Axel's teachers uh, called us in today uh, because of an issue. He asked to borrow a Lego from a classmate, and uh, I guess the kid said they're called Lego bricks, and Axel just started wailing on him. <laughs> So they called us in and, and told us they're moving them up a grade. Uh, here was a comment. I'm starting to think that Seth puts more effort into corrections than into the regular show. Starting. <laughs> that train left the station a while ago. Still too many people out there defending Hannibal Lecter. Just let it go. Someone said Hannibal Lecter only eats the rude. And they still convicted him? Buffalo uh, Bill didn't have a well, he had a cistern. Fun word to say. Cistern. Got no problem with that correction. I'm gonna try to use cistern more often. Uh, uh, it's an ornithologist, not an ornithologist. That's what I said last week. But you know what? If you bird experts are gonna be out there telling me seagulls aren't real, you might mix up how I say it. <laughs> I, someone commented we make too much fun of elders. A jackal wrote in and said, you know who else makes too much fun of elders? Mormon insult comics. <laughs> we saw Brother Rickles last night. <laughs> he was very hard on the elders. He called Hiram a hockey puck. I laughed so hard, milk came out my nose. <laughs> hey, so I talked about uh, people, how people at Shoemaker's, uh, Mikey the Shoe's wedding, uh, were surprised he was uh, in, in television. And how a lot of them said, uh, I thought he cleaned pools for a living. And someone said, why would people think he cleans pools? Uh, because no one in the world talks more about their <laughs> pool <laughs> than Mikey the Shoe. I can't even tell you. He tells you when he's about to open it. He's so proud of how often he uses it. He's like, you have a bit of pool that's 85 degrees? It's like being in a sauna underwater. So he's so proud of his pool. At the wedding, people were going up to him and they were saying, congratulations. And he would go, on my pool? <laughs> Never invites us over. Talks about his pool all summer long. I see him have a conversation with guys in the crew. He's like, Hey, Jimmy, you live, uh, what, five blocks from me? <laughs> Gonna be pretty hot this weekend. But I got a pool. You know what they say cools you down? Take a cold shower!
That guy. Uh, tortoises are land, turtles are, are water. That's a, that's a loose rule. I mean, obviously, you know, you could throw a tortoise in the water. <laughs> but that, you know, that's, that's the exception. <laughs> that's the exception, not, not the rule. But uh, so we were, because we were saying how slow turtles are, and a lot of people jumped in and said, you know, uh, turtles aren't that slow. And also somebody wrote, uh, hey, the picture uh, you showed was a red-eared slider. And they wrote, I owned a red-eared slider, and those <laughs> can scoot. <laughs> and I believe them because those <laughs> can scoot sounds like the parlance of a turtle owner. <laughs> hey, we had a joke about, we clarified. We're like, hey, if you, uh, I don't know. It'd be easier to drink if any of you have <laughs> said anything. <laughs> oh, it's a tortoise? <laughs> now it's a turtle. <laughs> we had a joke about if you woke up at a dentist's office uh, and saw uh, my show, uh, that would maybe be the only reason you would be watching the show. And somebody said, what dentist is open at 12.35 at night? Maybe a mafia dentist? You know, like sometimes you'll see mob movies and stuff and a guy will get shot and they'll need to bring him to the doctor, but you can't bring him to the ER because then they have to call the cops so they find like there's some shady doctor who comes by or maybe you take him to like a veterinarian's office. And so I think maybe, uh, you know, for the purposes of our joke, maybe there are times where, you know, a mob guy maybe gets a, a tooth knocked out and, uh, you know, so they bring him to some weird sort of like under, you know, some off-license dentist, it's open 24 hours, and uh, you know, and so he's sitting there in the waiting room, you know, holding up maybe a bag of ice against his mouth, and, and you know what time it is when you're doing that? It's time for a closer look. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we had a Monopoly joke uh, this week. Um, this is, uh, I wanna read this comment. Somebody read online. Board game hobbyist here, nope. <laughs> First rule of leaving a comment, don't open with board game hobbyist here. <laughs> I forgot something. Who's a prop? It'll be fine, we'll do it next week. We had a picture of a raccoon in an Aaron Rodgers jersey. He's number eight. The jersey we had was number 34. So maybe that's an argument for us doing our own research. <laughs> the human head on average weighs 10.362 pounds, which means that nine people need to have a head that weighs 5.95 pounds to make up for the fact that Jim Breyers weighs 50. <laughs> Th that's just math. <laughs> Nestle stopped making Butterfinger in 2018. They're now manufactured by Ferrara. And that's a candy fact. Candy facts. Uh, hey, we did a bit this week for Halloween called Two Line Sentence Horror Stories. Fair bit of corrections about grammar, about how closely it hewed to the premise. I thought this was the best correction on two line, two sentence, excuse me, horror stories. Uh, correction, this entire segment. End of Closer Look, we uh, call back a clip. And Sal will write, you know, dialogue for me to tee up the clip. 
and uh, I don't know the clip in advance, but I do know what the line's gonna be in advance, unless Sal changes it last minute and doesn't tell me. That's what happened on Thursday, and so I'm seeing this for the first time, and uh, not my finest moment. I knew when I was saying the line, it, the words weren't making sense. And a lot of you very angrily wrote, wait, what were you, what were you even saying? So let's see if you guys can decipher the words I said. Let's look at the clip. Instead of make American great again, he could sell hats that say, good anchor yet prosecutors, AKA. Gap. Our editor, Devin, uh, told Sal he watched it a bunch of times and he thought I was speaking Welsh. <laughs> Let's ice, can we isolate the Welsh? G'day, great prosecutors. G'day, great, great, more, you know. Uh, Medusa is a proper name. She is one of three Gorgons, along with uh, Theno and Uriel, her sisters. Plural of sisters, of course. Cistern. <laughs> it's digestive tract, not digestive track, which is what I said. Digestive track is what the guidance counselor at Hannibal Lecter's high school told him he was on. You don't get off this digestive track, you're gonna end up in prison. You're being very rude, counselor. Oh, <laughs> uh, the E is silent in provolone in English, but not in Italian. That's how they caught Italian spies during World War II. <laughs> get them in the GI mess. Sort of there. What do you call it? The cafeteria, the mess. And they'd be like, hey, private, what can I get you? Uh, you want a sandwich? And they'd be like, yeah, I'll get a little ham. They're like, yeah, sure thing. And maybe a little mustard? We got mustard. And, like, and then uh, some provolone. They're like, he got one of them! <laughs> Viva Mussolini! And then they, you know. Oh, the E is silent in a few other words I've been saying. It's Steve I. Nix. <laughs> At Ren Fairs, they do take credit cards. And a, a Ren Fair attendee said, uh, I go a lot. We accept Lady Visa and MasterCard. <laughs> Five years ago, I would have said that's a lame joke, but now I do corrections and I'm pretty jealous I didn't think of it. <laughs> also, I said uh, candle makers, uh, medieval candle makers are called Chandlers. Uh, they would uh, come to a castle, look around, and say things like, could this dungeon be any darker? <laughs> the, uh, I'm gonna be sincere. The great Matthew Perry uh, passed away. He was uh, such a fantastic comic actor. He played one of the greatest television roles in my lifetime. And yet, when I read about the man this last week, I was so taken with what he was trying to give back. We all know he struggled with substance abuse and he was making it his life's work to take that struggle and help other people through it. And it's a real reminder that in our uh, darkest times, we can uh, turn that hopefully into light for someone else down the road. So uh, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Thank you all for being with us. See you next week.